research at the experimental stone fruit orchard at Tatura has shown that crop load management of peach, nectarine, plum and apricot shows that average fruit weight and fruit sweetness decreases rapidly with increasing crop load. Fruit maturity, that being firmness of the flesh and colour development, is delayed under high crop load scenarios. At the low fruiting levels, we've seen increases in tree vigour and vegetative growth, including pruning biomass and trunk size. Crop load management in stone fruit at Tatura has shown that fruit thinning, the agronomic practice aimed at changing the ratio of carbon partitioning between the fruits and the leaves. Crop load management dictates the number of fruit per tree and directly influences tree growth, development, yield and fruit quality outcomes. Fruit thinning activities contribute to the cost of orchard production via the labour inputs required. However, optimal crop loads offer savings through reduced picking, packing and transport costs. Nowadays, modern high density orchard systems offer early, greater cumulative yields, improved light distribution within the canopy and mature trees fill their allotted space quicker. However, excessive crop loads can result in small fruit size, delayed maturity and poor fruit quality outcomes. Therefore, optimal crop load management is required to achieve high marketable yields, good quality fruit outcomes and trees being more sustainable in the long term. Hello, I'm Mark O'Connell, Senior Research Scientist at Agriculture Victoria based at Tatura Smart Farm.